Hello, hello, welcome back. Uh, we're back to streaming more ahead in time. Uh, so last time we basically just finished the game, and now for this stream, we're going to be covering both uh, Arctic Cruise and Yakuza Metro, the uh, DLC chapters uh, for this game. Um, yeah, so without further ado, uh, let's jump ahead. And uh, by the way, the song that I was playing at the moment was uh, Upper City from the uh, Robots GBA and DS game. Yes, that's actually where it came from. It's a surprisingly good soundtrack for a movie tie-in game. Uh, it's by Ian Stalker. I highly recommend you check out the soundtrack. But for now, let's jump ahead. Oh, right, and I was toying around with the window capture stuff, so let me set that up real quick. <clears throat> Move that. Game capture. I don't know if you can hear the game or not, but... Don't capture Curbser. Curbser? <laughs> Curbser. Uh. Ooh. There we go. Let me test out chat. Test. Cool. Awesome. Alright, let's get started. Let me get a drink. I just got. Get a check real, real quick. Alright, let's start. And, uh, let me link real quick. Ah, my emotes look sad. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. 46% complete. Yeah, so in my mind right now, I think we're definitely going to do two streams, two more streams of this game. Uh, this stream right now for the DLC chapters and the other stream, the final stream presumably, that is basically just clean up and doing a bunch of tie rips. So, yeah, I feel like that's a perfect opportunity. Uh, I just realized something. So we have 26 timepieces, but we don't actually have enough timepieces for uh, the Arctic Cruise. So I guess we'll just jump ahead to Niakusa Metro. Um, considering that's how the timepieces are <coughs> balanced out, where this is access first, I guess they really want you to play this before uh, Arctic Cruise. Hello, hello, Mail 07. <laughs> yeah, uh, time rifts are cool. Uh, I actually have not touched a single time rift yet in this uh, playthrough. I'm doing that until much later. For now, I just kind of want to focus more on like um, the chapters and stuff. But next stream, I will be doing all the time rifts. So that should be good. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. <coughs> oh, my throat is a little... It's not sore, but it's a little clogged up. It's a good thing to have water. I should really see if there's a mod out there that I could just remove the Neokuza Metro name below the game logo, because I, I kind of don't like that, honestly, especially since it's not really relevant. <laughs> uh, but yeah. And uh, let me take care of something real quick on OBS. 
because I'm just noticing. Hold on. There we go. Whee! <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, I wonder what it's the logistics of having these gigantic cats pulling these trains in this mini cat city. I, it like does this save up on like the electricity bills? I hope those cats get paid well. Uh oh yeah, something new for this chapter is that they now have like a timepiece tracker uh, for each section of this world so in a way it's like a more graceful way of notifying you of if you have everything in this world or not uh, similar to like Alpine Skyline except now it's a dedicated UI element which is cool very cool retooling of the mud mechanic from Mafia Town. Ah! Don't scare me like that! How you doing, sleep? <laughs> I mean, I just got here. Anyway. Yeah. There we go. Hat kid just murdered a cat. Something that is really funny playing this chapter after like the main game content is just how much better the cutscene animation is. Because like the in game the main game cutscene animation is pretty much like Sonic Adventure cutscene animations. Here it's like actually really super super professional. So you work for me now. Come to my store. We've business to discuss. There's more of these, I'm sure. You seem talented at finding them. This version of the song, where it's like a hip hop beat, that's not in like any soundtrack release, which is honestly kind of a shame. Um, legitness? Uh, what you mean, like in terms of the cutscene animation? Like, yeah. So, like in the main game, it's like they use they relied heavily on like stock animations because you know that's just simple to do. But in this game, in this DLC chapter and Arctic Cruise, they definitely really refine the animation this time. I pay you, and you bring me more. It's a simple arrangement. Start looking by the yellow overpass. I'm sure you can find your way. I'm sure again. So typically when I usually play through this game, I always go by the order of where the game is showing me, but uh, for this playthrough, considering that I'm already like trying my best to explore any other angle of this game, um, I'm gonna go go through things out of order. Um, let me get that sticker. That's another new thing that they introduced for this for this DLC is uh, stickers. Um, they introduced like this weird mechanic, like a rare sticker mechanic. Um, oh yeah, no, the cat's dead, forever gone. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's another new mechanic. This DLC introduces as stickers, which you can use as like emotes and for your photo mode and stuff. Uh, it's kind of weird how they. Uh, because like because this is something that's only new to this chapter, stickers don't really appear anywhere else in the game except for this weird mechanic called 
I, I think called rare stickers, where basically sometimes a rare sticker would just pop up in one of the old chapters and uh, a machine in the hub world would notify you, hey, there's a rare sticker in this uh, chapter. But what I don't understand though is that these rare stickers that this game is telling me about are not exactly unique. It's more like the same stickers but with like weird rainbow filter on them. So like if there was a rare sticker in Mafia Town, for example, you would find like this sticker except there's like a rainbow graphic on top of it. And yeah, I don't really understand that. It's kind of weird. Man. Hmm. So anyway, uh, Neo Kuzu Metro is an evolution of the open world setup that um, Alpine Skyline uh, tried to do, and I think in my opinion it does not way better, because in addition to having timepieces that are actually like out of the way and not something you just, you know, find in a traditional path, there's also just the fact that this area is just way better... Yeah. <laughs> it's just way better constructed for this kind of open world gameplay. Where it's like... In the, it, Alpine Skyline has a problem where like all of its major set pieces are super separated into like different islands. So the open world setup was more of a hindrance, if anything. But here, it's like, the locations are much more closely knitted to one another, and there's all these cool little secret areas, like, here. Um, and it's just, like, it's just a far better open-world experience. An undiscovered combo is available. Uh, is there any character you would fawn over? Um, I mean, there's, a, like, a bunch of characters. There's, like, uh, the Conductor... DJ Grooves, the Snatcher. Uh, one of my personal favorite characters is the Walrus Captain from Chapter 6, uh, which we'll meet soon. Uh, I always like that character the most, and it's kind of a shame I don't really see much fan art for him. Uh, I should make some fan art of him. But anyway. Uh, I Oh yeah, I remember like Katsu Curry and Rice are considered a combo, even though the Katsu Curry itself already has Rice. I, I think I'm correct on that. A new combo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Curry and Rice and Rice. Katsu Curry, a tasty pork cutlet cut into strips, served with a rich, flavorful curry and usually rice. While the pun is irresistible given that you're in a cat metro, it will not be appreciated. Rice. Rice is one of the most consumed foods. Oh, is this super slow right now? Easy to prepare and cheap. And the savior of wet cell phones. Uh, let me check let me check my Twitch right now. Um I, I hope that's not on my end. Uh it better not be like buffering. Oop. Okay. Or is Captain from Chapter Six? Uh, which oh yeah, it is slow right now. What's going on here? Uh, let me see. Is it because? Let me close that. And how does that look now? Wow, what what is going on? Hmm. Let me check something real quick. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. I'm just gonna see right now. Uh. Okay, I'm back. I'm just gonna see right now. Okay, does it look good now? <clears throat> is it Alaska internet? Uh, I'm not so sure. Uh, but how is the stream looking right now? It looks smooth on my end. Uh. This song is by uh, Nelward. Very, very good song. One of my favorites. Is there... Alright. Ow! That hurts. Okay, now it looks better. Okay. So I think what it, I think what happened is because I just had Discord up, and that might have affected the performance, maybe? Hmm. I don't know. But anyway. Uh... Hmm. Okay, wait, what kind of combo? <sighs> Does anyone actually drink soda with any of these desserts? I don't... Hmm. Hmm. I guess I'll go with these two? Maybe? I mean, I already have five health points, so it should be okay. Yeah, no, it's not. Too much ice cream. <laughs> Which only by name, this dessert has mastered the arts of disguise. Triple scoop. Vanilla cream frozen at the right temperature and shaped into a ball. Then put in a cone. Many scoops in your cone will impress your scoopless peers and get you that promotion. I do like promotions. Anyway. Let me get these sticker. <laughs> anyway, uh, root beer float. All oh, right, yeah, that might actually be it. Now that I think about it. Mm. I like this effect when walking on these weird space reality platforms. I don't know what you call them. Whoop. Hold on. I've got a sneeze. I hope you didn't hear that. Anyway. Another sticker. Sorry. Oh my god. Uh. Oh, I messed up there. First timepiece. Whoop. Well, second timepiece. <laughs> and you have another time piece for me. Good. Our little arrangement. That little bounce. Well. See that it continues to. And since it's going so well, you shouldn't have any trouble buying some metro passes. You won't get around much without them after all. 
I know cutscene, but I'm not going there yet. Uh, there should be a way to like get all the Metro passes before I even approach a single timepiece, uh, because that's just one thing about this design of the chapter, where basically you have to like, uh, I guess you can drink soda with pizza, sure. Uh, that's just one thing about the progression of this chapter is that you need to buy venture passes to actually like go to new areas. It's not it's, so you know in a way it's like they made a new collectible just for um, progression in this area, which I think is cool. Well, I just had triangular beauty yesterday, so yeah. I don't drink soda anymore. Yeah. Alright, let's see. What do you have for me? Mm. The costumes in this chapter are so expensive. Like, even if you went out of your way to, like, grind for as many pawns as you can, uh, mostly from just revisiting Mafia Town a bunch of times, um, it, it's like, it, it seems like the way, yeah, it, it seems like the way they balanced out the currency is, like, if people have played a bunch of mods collecting pawns there, that's, like, the only reason why it's so expensive, because otherwise it's, like, absurd, in a way. There we go. Let's move on. I can't access that yet. Hmm. And actually, I did take like the different route from that area I just entered, so let me go back to that. Oh, nice! Triangles are always really tasty. I actually did have, like... I don't know what it is. I think it's like, I did have, like, actual traditional, like, pizza when I was, like, at an airport one time. And I actually really like it. Uh, cookies and coffee. Yeah. Yes. So besides getting an extra health point, you also get like a bonus sticker. So. Cookies, small baked biscuits, usually full of chocolate chips, raisins, or something else. Great for a quick snack, and also dropping crumbs everywhere. Coffee, a warm brewed drink prepared from coffee beans. Consuming this drink on a regular basis transforms a kitten to a cat, and a cat to a nervous wreck. Nice. Alright, uh... I go here... Wait, whoa, what? I don't think that was supposed to happen. All the music in this chapter is very, very lovely. Ooh, yeah, I have to save up on pawns. I hope I don't come across a situation where, like, I don't have enough pawns to progress. Uh, but yeah, I unlocked an area, so I think I'll go there afterward. Um, there's a timepiece up there taunting me. Yes. Oh yeah, and I like the little detail where like a uh, hat kid actually pulls out the metro card when she enters these gates. It's a really neat detail. Are there any more stickers? Nope. 
Sliding. Oh! Oh yeah, Nico is the Metro also introduced these new uh, cat enemies. They're basically like recolors of the cat enemies in Alpine Skyline, but they're nowhere near as annoying. Uh. Hey! Of course, they, these enemies still appear in this chapter, so... Do I have the camera badge? Yeah. Hmm. Oh boy. I don't know if you can hear it, uh, but my family are currently uh, drilling. <laughs> So I hope there's no loud sound on your end. Oh yeah, I forgot. So the Yakuza Metro also introduced the baseball bat as like uh, a cosmetic for your melee weapon, which is usually an umbrella. This is the only I, as far as I know, this is like the only weapon cosmetic in the whole game. Just this baseball bat. Oh boy. It's pretty loud on my end. Uh, What do I get? It's good old snatch. Oof. I don't like the green stuff that is on the rat's bodies. Like, are those tumors? Ugh. Anyway. Anything up here? Of course there is. Cool. There we go. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> anyway. Let's make a beeline for it. Go. Oh. But I made it. Okay. Here's another Metro Pass. Nah. Yes. New area? Cool. Hey! So in Alpine Skyline, uh, I decided to let one of those cat thieves uh, steal my hat. And I decided to check what would happen if I actually just leave my hat. And it turns out, like, you need your hat uh, to use the hookshot badge, just because uh, that's where you put your badges on. Um, so basically what that means is that I can't uh, exit out the area where they stole my uh, hat. So I guess that's one way of handling that. But now I'm wondering, like, what happens here, assuming they actually kept that enemy type in this area. Uh, and now I'm back in the yellow pass. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, 
Uh, the Empress? Yeah. She's very cool. It, it's unfortunate, unfortunately for her, she's the only character in the game that doesn't have a real backstory. Uh, because every other character has like a purple time rift that explains their character and stuff. And uh, Empress doesn't have that, unfortunately. Um, burger and fries, yeah. What no? Lettuce and buns grilled and served with condiments. While some may prefer meat alternatives and some skip the lettuce, all greatly prefer the presence of the buns. Who skips lettuce? And this is something I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised burger and fries is not a food combo. Like, that's... It, huh. Like, this game doesn't consider that a food combo. Unless I, I, unless I forgot and I already got that combo and that's why it didn't count. Okay, uh... Hmm... I already got these two, so... Cake and... Hot chocolate? Maybe? Cake. Yeah, no. Too much chocolate. It's a little funky just because the walls are a little too far apart, but uh, oh. yay. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh yeah, there's like this little area right here that you can like keep wall jumping on, but like there's nothing up there, and I don't think that's intentional, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. You can also see that uh, Hat Kid's eyes um, glow in the dark. Mainly because it's a duty texture. I don't know how far I'm at. Let me drop down. Okay. I even got applause for that. Thank you, game. Oh right, I don't think I got the yellow pass. I'll get that later. Well, I also unlocked the other areas, so I'll go there. Yep. Interesting. You're more useful than I. Keep this up, child. I'll make you rich. I'm very invested in loyalty. Now be a worthwhile oh, boy. investment and find me another. 
even if you have to look in the manhole tunnels. My cats and I use them for our work. Tread carefully. Oh yeah, I, I should I should actually show this real quick. Uh, you can you can you can kill by her instantly just by hitting her, like this. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's like near impossible to dodge too. Like, let me see if I can actually dodge her attack. Okay, uh, wait, where am I at? Oh. Eh, well, anyway, I'll just progress further. Uh, Let's see, uh, the Metro is special. Hmm. Oh, yeah, fish and chips. A new combo has been found. Money. Fish, battered and fried fish, usually cod or pollock. Most cats love being able to buy it fried, since there's no fish tanks in the metro to steal from. French fries, slice and deep. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. That's depicting like the end of chapter six, even though we haven't gotten to there yet. <laughs> okay. I almost forgot that sticker. Actually, wait a minute. What is that? Huh. Oh, there we go. Oh boy. They're making a lot of noise up there. Let's get the Bow Kid sticker. Oh yeah, this is like I think the only overt reference to Bow Kid in the entire game. Uh, Bow Kid is just like the the cooperative character and a character that you play in a bonus single player mode. But I think this is like the only time where she's actually like physically referenced in the whole game. Oop. Maybe. <laughs> Is there anything over here? 
Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> Hi, Eleven Deer. How's it going? Currently, we're playing through uh, Niyakuza Metro, and then after we're done with this chapter, we will be doing uh, the Arctic Cruise. Which seems like a fitting chapter to end off on, considering it's kind of like every almost every character in the game appears in that chapter, so it's kind of like a nice bookend, if that's the right term. By the way, um, oh boy. If you hear any, um, noise currently, like a mmm sound, uh, that's because uh, my family are currently uh, doing uh, construction work on the house, so you might hear some, ooh, you might hear some loud noises, uh, or maybe you're not, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Hook shot. Yeah. <laughs> That's the second cat that died in this stream. Well done. My organization can always use more people like you. There's a place for you here, provided you don't disappoint me. Still, I hear my little collection is quite complete. So get back to it and be thorough. Leave no stone unturned. When I, you know, eventually have to watch my recording, I wonder how loud that sounds. Uh, hopefully not too loud. Anyway, uh, let me devour that cat's soul. There we go. Uh, Alright. Let me go over here. And here. Let's get this smuggest emote. Uh, where's the bow down emote? That's what I want. Uh, the bow down sticker. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, if it's not. If it's just there, but not too bad, then that's good. Whoop. Ah, there it is. Bow down. <laughs> uh. Oh ho ho. You know, it's, it's something I was actually thinking about with like that kind of thing is how I like listening to music 
that's like kind of harsh to listen to like not even in a traditional sense like actually hard to listen to but for some reason it's like usually in the context of music i'm usually like pretty okay with like really harsh noise but like in the context of just everyday life like actual power tools and stuff that kind of thing just actually it's just un unpleasant to me and i don't know why maybe it's because it's not in a musical context Yeah. <laughs> uh, something that uh, I want to point out is that whenever you see stuff like this, where like there there appears to be an interior in these build in these buildings, um, I, this is obvious in Mafia Town, I think, but like. What you're seeing here, I don't think what you're seeing here is actually real. I think what it is, it's like... I don't know what this effect is, but it's like... You know how like in Source Engine games, like... There would be a piece of... There's some backgrounds in a far distance that are actually like... Smaller models uh, projected to look bigger than they, than they actually are. I think that's a similar thing going there. Um... <laughs> um... But yeah, in like Mafia Town in this chapter, like whenever you see like the interior of the building, um, I don't know what happened there. Whenever you see like the interior of the building, that's not actually there. I think it's just like a weird texture filter, I think. Yeah. Oop. Funny how technology works. Oop. Yeah, projecting. And it, like that example right there is actually like a pretty good use of that world projecting. In Mafia Town, like the projecting is not always that good <laughs> because sometimes it's like the way it matches with the rest of the geometry. Uh oh. Hold on. It just disconnected. Okay, it's, it, I'm back. I'm back. Oh boy. As I was saying, um, but yeah, in Mafia Town, there's like some examples of world projection that doesn't really work. So, you know, they definitely like refine their craft over time, if that's how you say it. Uh, but Lavender, if you have to go now, that, that, no worries. Uh, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Oop. Wait a minute. Uh, where do I go now? Let me drop down here, I suppose. Or not. Okay. Hmm. Where is the rest? Aha! There we go. Yeah, it's a very good game. One of my favorites. Oh! Oh yeah, another new mechanic this chapter introduced is like those energy balls where uh, kind of like... Well, I don't know. It basically, you just collect a bunch of balls to unlock something and that's basically it. Uh, just another kind of thing that ahead of time modders will, you know, use. You never finished it. Uh, how far did you get into the game? Uh, I think we got. Ah, okay. Okay, I don't have that Metro Pass yet, so I'll have to find that one. It's kind of interesting how they designed this area with the metro passes because in a way it's kind of like 
You continue to surprise me. In a way, it's kind of like their way of catering to people who either prefer a more straightforward design, or if they really want to, they could get all the Metro Passes and tackle any timepieces in any order they want. Yeah, there are uh, five chapters, main game, and two additional DLC chapters. Uh, so I'm presuming that you stopped around like chapter two or three, I suppose. Yeah. Oop. Okay, where do I go next? Uh... I guess I'll just continue on the yellow path. Well, actually, no, that path is already finished, so let me backtrack for a bit. Yeah, I'm missing this pass, so let me go down here. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. How did Time is a strangely demanding game. Like, it doesn't really look like it, but it's like... And this game is not very well optimized, I gotta say. Like, especially on Nintendo Switch, which is how I first played Ahead in Time. Uh, the Switch version is like... 16 gigabytes? Which is kind of bizarre, considering that on the same system there's Mario Odyssey, which looks better, and is only like... Five gigabytes, and also like this game is running on Unreal Engine three, so that might have something to do with it. Actually, that might have a lot to do with it now that I think about it. But yeah, I'm not surprised if your computer couldn't handle this game all too well. It's yeah. Hello, RQ. How's it going? Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's the that's the reason why uh, this game did not get like a Wii U port because uh, fun fact, uh, had a time was originally going to be on the Wii U, uh, but then they decided not to do it because they know that the Wii U can't handle it. And bear in mind that in terms of like this standard Wii U, not like the black Wii U that comes with like 32 gigabytes built in, the basic Wii U is only can only hold up to eight gigabytes. Which can we just say that's just insane that Nintendo thought 8 gigabytes was okay <laughs> to release. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, it's no wonder that this game never came out on Wii U. And to be honest, it was the Switch port it isn't even that good, so they dodged a bullet with the Wii U, I suppose. Uh, boy. Oh yeah, sure. Um, sad to say though, uh, at around 3.30, yeah, at around 3.30 at my time, I actually do have to uh, go to uh, go do some important work, so I might not even be around for that stream, uh, assuming you're streaming today. Uh, but if I can, uh, I would like to watch it. I think I'm done with the food combos. I don't really care too much about stickers anyway. Uh Okay. Uh Ow. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. What sticker is this? Neum.
Oh yeah, there should be a Metro Pass right around here. Wait, I don't even need that. <laughs> I don't even need that block. Get that. Face Palming Snatcher. Oh boy, yeah. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Oof. I hope that doesn't impact me too much in March. Uh, because the roads in where I live could get really icy and I don't want to drive in the highways around that time. Hopefully it's not too, too bad, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Rift token. Ice skate, yeah. I should take I should like take a page from Mario and just do a little twirl on ice so I could enter skate mode. Whoop. Aha, there it is. Twenty metro tickets. It's these tickets are so cheap and it's like I really want to know like the logistics of why they're so cheap because I imagine that just giving anyone free access to the city could be, you know. Maybe it's not too bad, but whatever. Oop. Yeah. <laughs> This is like the second time where the time stop hat is actually useful. It's funny how a hat based around actual time manipulation is one of the least used game in a game called A Hat in Time. <laughs> and... There we go. So now I have all the Metro Passes, meaning I can basically go wherever I want. So that's cool. You know, I'm just realizing like, that those cats are like entering that gate. But I'm assuming they have their own Metro Passes, because otherwise it seems like they're just going to a dead end <laughs> if I didn't get that Metro Pass. <clears throat> There's an operation coming up that I stand to make a killing on. A transport gig. Bring mm. me one more, and there won't be a cat in this city with more scratch than me. Alright. So that area is about done. I really like this new UI telling me how many time pieces I have in certain areas. That's so nice. Uh, is there anything around here? Nope, finished that as well. So I guess I am going back to um to this area. This chapter really doesn't take that long to finish at all, actually. Like, there's so many timepieces, but it's like, none of the timepieces really overstay their welcome. Well, which is nice, because I feel the opposite with Alpine Skyline, that that chapter can kind of drag with how many in-between basic platforming there was between the set pieces. Here, it's more like, yeah, just go from here to here, and you're basically all set. And that's ideal with this kind of chapter. Uh, have I been here before? I just float down. <laughs> yep. 
What do you have for me? You know what? Oh, I'll get this. Sure. Oh yeah. Um. So I said early on that I'm planning on doing another stream after th after this, which is basically just me doing cleanup. That's not gonna be the only time. That that's not gonna be the end of me streaming this game, because as I've said before. I'm also planning on doing like mod streams where I would just showcase a bunch of mods for this game. Uh, because, you know, Ahead of Time is a 3D platformer with mod support, and that's absolutely amazing. Um, and. But on top of that, I'm also going to stream more of this game just to do Deathwish mode. Uh, Death Wish mode is something that I attempted in the past, and I just stopped because I thought it was a very sloppy, poorly designed mode added into this game. And I realized that just makes it more perfect for streaming because I could just showcase the pain of having to play through Death Wish. Uh, but let me just do this. Take notes, Nintendo. Yeah. Look at her. Seven. It's a lucky number to some, you know. Lucky number, Empress. I've lost all my polygons. Yeah, get my polygons back. Oh, yep, just one more area. Let me take this costume off. Uh, put on my jacket. Alright. One more timepiece, and we're basically done with this chapter. I love this chapter. Uh, this is one of my favorites. And I feel like this chapter in particular feels like a tease of what they want to do for like a sequel for a sequel eventually because there's just some nice quality of life improvements in this chapter like the UI telling you how many time pieces there are. Um, the way you buy costumes is more refined than buying badges because instead of having to see an animation of the pawns entering the character uh, you basically, it's just much more snappy, and you could choose more than one thing. Uh, uh, not the costumes, I mean more like the buying food. I would like that system used for just buying general gameplay stuff. Uh, oop! Oh no, can I make it? Can I make it? Oof! But yeah, this is just a very good chapter. And a nice breath of fresh air from... A nice breath of fresh air uh, from chapter 6, uh, which after this, we're going to play afterwards, and it is my least favorite chapter in the entire game, uh, so get ready for that. My health points. I'm back here. Where am I missing? Uh, what's that, sleep? <laughs> Fritos? Ah, yeah. I have not had Fritos in a long time. Uh, I... I haven't eaten many chips in a long time besides like tortilla chips. Uh, oop. Uh, 
Oh yeah, this timepiece requires I have to collect all the shards. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> uh, hey. There we go. Whoop. My sticker. All right. Yeah. I would not be surprised if maybe that's the inspiration, considering this game is inspired by a lot of things. Ooh. Ooh. Anyway, that's all the timepiece shards we collected. Uh, that's not a new mechanic for this chapter. This was introduced in uh, chapter 6. Uh, yeah. Wait, where's the timepiece? Oh my god. There we go. Oh no! Last one. Woo! Oh, look at that cat. Frozen in time. They really are. Also, oh, that one timepiece is a particularly shiny. Look at that. Wow. That might be a lighting error, actually. I don't think it's supposed to look that shiny. Or maybe I haven't noticed at that point. I don't know. Why is that fitting? Oh, no. Okay, I'm back. I have to figure out what's going on there. Well, that's my business. I will call on you if I need your skills again. For now, enjoy your earnings. I have places to be and preparations to make. All right. Well, we got all the time pieces, but as you know. They, they usually take away all my time pieces, but now it's time for- Oh no! It's disconnecting again? Okay, we're back. Yeah. I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, um... Uh, let's just get all these time pieces and this is using that one mechanic introduced in chapter 6 where you can like carry multiple items at once uh, but as a result you lose more and more balance like this uh, there we go yay you put them in your pocket for safekeeping how nice Oh god, what's up with their face textures? <laughs> Make it quick. I, I don't know why that got me so good. Reward is one million. <laughs> Even the Empress finds that very funny. But anyway, the final part of this chapter. Um, unfortunately, no actual boss fight like the other ones. It's just a chase sequence. Run if you want. <laughs> you won't get far. Get away from me. Ow.
Oh. There we go. Do I need to replace all of you? Can you not catch a child? Come here. Okay, uh... I like that these... These cats are just represented as 2D textures. <laughs> anyway. Oh! Wrong way. Nope! 
Where am I supposed to go, actually? I'm lost. Uh... Oh wait, no, I'm back here. Okay. Whew. Bam, bam, bam. Ba -da 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 -da. Okay. Escape tunnels. Oops. Close to the end. Come here, come here. Nope. Follow me. There we go. Actually, what happens if I go down here? Oh wait, I... Okay. Oh wait, I can't go through there. Alright. Hmm. Yep, this is the end. to steal from me so bold for someone so small all my fault really i should have a better eye for who i elevate you could have been someone important here one day but you've disappointed me and it's time i cash out oh officers oh convenient I was just about to get out. They're a lot harder to get rid of than you are. We'll meet again, brat. Nothing. Sweet.
Oh, hi, Snatcher. Yeah, so I guess after... I don't actually know what constitutes you unlocking Death Wish, but yeah, uh, Death Wish is now available. Yay. <clears throat> but anyway. I feel like if I were, to, if I, when I actually do a Death Wish stream, I would just have this uh, expression at all times, just because honestly, I really don't like Death Wish. <laughs> anyway, next is Chapter Six, the last chapter we're gonna play through, and the weak, the low point of the game for me. This would be a pretty short stream, now that I think about it, but yeah, I think it's good to stop after this chapter. It seems fitting. And I was thinking about this for a while now, but you know, I'm thinking of like, you know, collecting everything in this game, and I've decided, you know what, I think I'm just gonna do that off screen, because honestly, oh boy, uh, because honestly, um, I don't think it's that interesting watching me collect everything in this game. Especially with how I usually play games, I'm usually like pretty thorough, and that means I'm just kind of bullshitting a lot, a lot of the time. And that's not going to be very entertaining, and I'm definitely not going to have a lot of things to say about, you know, the process of collecting everything in this game. Because otherwise, like, I think A Hat in Time is actually a very fun game to complete. Um, not that it's perfect or anything, like, you know, how you don't really know how many yarn you collect is kind of concerning to me, even though ultimately how many yarn you have by the end doesn't actually matter in the percentage, I still want to collect everything in the game. Hey, Conductor. Well, if it isn't the little lass, how stab them treating you. Tell you the truth, I'm taking some time off after that picnic. DJ Traitor. Well, you know. Anyway, I better go ask about the childcare on board. I love these little blighters, but I cannot bring them to the bar with me, can I? No. But yeah, look, all his grandchildren are here now. They're like better animated than he is. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, hi, Bob. Is that his name? step ahead. Anyway, I thought I'd take some time off to relax. This should be smooth sailing, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna take a short break, so I'll be back. Uh, let me play some music in the meanwhile. Uh, the, the music that, uh, that's usually, like, um, you, the, the music t typically plays on my desktop audio. That's why I'm muting the game. So, uh, let me find a track. <laughs> I keep doing that. Uh, let me find a track to play, and uh, I'll be back.
All right, I'm back, and let's get back to playing Hattie Time. Oh, right, and I muted the audio. Let me take care of that. There we go. Anyway, here's Warus, Captain. They really decided to create like this new fish character just for this chapter, and that's all we really see of him. <laughs> all right, hi, mafia boss. Ah, first you kill me, then you torment me by booking passage on the only cruise liner here with facilities for people in jars. So wait, did I? Am I responsible for booking on these people? Were I not in a pleasant holiday mood? And still without a body, I would take my revenge right here and now. I really do like this song. It gives me huge Sonic Unleashed vibes, like Woodmill Isle. So it's kind of funny that Snatcher is here, and then we never actually see him again. So I'm assuming they just left behind these crates. Uh, but um, but it makes me wonder if like that's actually done to as a reference to the fact that this DLC. Oh my God! Come on, OBS. There we go. As I was saying, um. I wonder if Snatcher being left behind is sort of like a tongue-in-cheek joke about the fact that this DLC isn't just this chapter, but it's also the Death Wish mode and the Cooperative mode and other stuff. Uh, because this DLC this chapter came from is quite big, uh, pretty ambitious, content-packed, um, but... I think, in a way, that might have impacted the quality of the DLC, uh, because I've said it before that I'm not really into Death Wish mode. I thought Death Wish mode is just very sloppily designed. Um, but this chapter right here, I would say, like, it's better than Death Wish, but it's like, this chapter feels strangely underdeveloped, I feel. Uh, and we'll get to it soon, but for starters, like, this chapter is very short. There's only, like, three acts in the entire game. It's the shortest chapter besides, like, the final chapter, which is just one act only. Um, and as we'll see later, the chapter doesn't do much to really make use of its time, I suppose. Uh... But yeah, let's just continue on forward. Ooh. Very roundabout way of entering the ship. Welcome, 
I do like how this ship is designed. Like, I say overall, the design of the ship is pretty solid. Um, how it's utilized is a different story. There we go. Let me check my phone real quick. Never mind. I thought I got a important message, but there isn't. Uh, let's see. I don't have to worry about getting stickers in this chapter, that's for sure. Oh yeah, I forgot. Egg. That is indeed an egg. Ah, so close. Oh. Wasn't there something in here? Ah, weird. I forgot to download anything to listen to before I left. And there's no Wi Fi signal out here. This holiday is the worst. Oh, you know, thank you for thank you, Penguin, for reminding me of that, actually. I should download some music. Uh for what I have to do in a moment, so. Yeah. No, it's absolutely hideous. It is pretty. I'm not gonna joke about that. Uh. Thank you. Uh. All oh, right, there's a rev token up there. Let me get that real quick. So how do I get there again? Like, it's like a very careful jumps. Like here, here, here. There we go. Oof. Almost didn't get it. Sometimes forget that the Alpine Skyline residents are in this ship as well. Like that's how unremarkable the characters in that chapter really are. <laughs> oh come on. Bing bong, bing bong. Attention passengers and crew. The ship is now leaving. Please try not to fall off. Let me collect every collectible in this area just to be... Just so I don't have to deal with uh, revisiting this chapter in my eventual cleanup.
Oh no! Oh, I remember! We broke one of those and hid it from the captain! He wouldn't be very happy if he knew we made a mess. We tried to clean it up, but, um, hmm, we didn't do a very good job, and we lost some of the pieces. I'm very sorry, miss. Please don't be upset. I am very upset with you. Don't talk to me. Oh yeah, this is a very awkward time ri a rift coin there. I love this octopus. I wish we get more of this octopus. Okay, but let me see if I could get that. Okay, cool. That part is so awkward. One more rev token, I think. Yeah. Let me destroy the ship. Oh. And I still have money. Oh yeah, I'm still in my Yakuza, Yakuza outfit. I want. Like, they, they suspect nothing of this kid wearing this kind of outfit. Alright. Oh wow, you can actually see the timepiece shard glowing right there. Huh. Oh yeah. Here, Captain. What do you want, pup? One of the crew hurt themselves again? What do I look like, a doctor? Kiss it better yourself. I'm not gonna kiss it. Let me find the other timepieces. Oh, hey, Dudette. I was just chilling, you know? And I noticed this broken glass around. Weird, right? It belongs to you? Oh, cool, I guess. <laughs> no judgment, you know? Pretty gnarly picking that stuff up with your bare hands, but like, whatever floats your boat, you know? I can cut my hands whatever I want to. Thank you so much. There you go. Oh no, these guys. Fellow passenger, it is nice to meet you. For the first time, we crows all won our tickets in a sweepstakes. All of us. It was incredibly lucky. You must have bought yours legitimately. For purely casual reasons, how many pawns did you pay? This many pawns. Pawns seems like a normal price for cruise tickets. Normal and not incongruent with your bank statement at all. Oh yeah, this this chapter has like these little ship map things which I don't find useful at all because I don't know how to read that. <laughs> Let's 
Let's take the time to look at the background here. Oh, I like the... I like the sort of painterly style of the background, actually. It's really nice. Anyway. Oh yeah, it's right around here. Because of course. Ooh. Ah. There we go. Okay, it's on the top floor. Cool. What do you mean we aren't on the list for dinner? We paid exactly pawns <laughs> for tickets. Just like every other real passenger, there will be a bad review left on this cruise trip. <laughs> Okay, so the arrow actually does follow in the elevator, but not in, like, chapter two. Hmm. Where is it? You haven't the faintest clue what any of this means, but the handwriting is surprisingly good for a seal. Well, let's read what it has to say, assuming it's not too blurry. Oh, no. I can't see. Oh, never mind. So, I, I seem to recall that this billboard right here might be another Mole Man reference. Um, oh, it's right around here. <laughs> okay, sure. It's in here. And up there. Aha. And Yep, that's it. Cool. So let's just move on then. And then basically afterwards, this whole chapter is basically just well not exactly smooth sailing, but you know. It's whatever. I need to get all these empty glasses, but I dropped them. Can you help me, miss? Dropped them. Oh my goodness. Egg. But yeah, this is where they properly introduce this new mechanic of grabbing a bunch of items uh, at the same time. Oh, hi, Conductor. Hey, 
I roam in our way. If you're after a drink, I think they might have some wee bottles of juice. Very capable one, sure. But what I'm having is near for young lasses. Oh boy. It's kind of sad that the conductor is the only character from Chapter 2 that reappears and not DJ Groups. Eh, I guess they just don't have the actor available, or they just simply don't care. Ow. Huh. Mafia bit down on something hard in this food. Child should take it back to kitchen, please. Oh god, you bit into glass? That's terrifying. Ugh. It's it's kinda funny. Like the mafia just talked there. I'm pretty sure it's the same actor, but like his delivery is very different. It's like, you know, in Mafia Town, he was like, Mafia come in to collect. You know, very subdued and stuff. But with that delivery, he sounds a lot more staccato. So, I don't know. I mean, I think that's got the. I actually do like the new delivery more, maybe, but it is kind of weird how slightly different it is. Uh. Oh boy. Seriously? It's fine. I'll kiss you. No, it's spit on you. Kissing my ouchiness. I feel better already. I found a shiny glass, but it's Why does this area lead right into this maintenance section? Is that normal for ships? My god. There we go. Oh boy. And then I have to prepare myself uh, for the second act, which uh, I'm not looking forward to that one. Uh, I've definitely got to get out my sprint hat for that one. Um, but yeah, uh, I, said, I may have said this before, but... Um, I actually did complete the second act of this chapter without making the captain mad and that did give me the achievement of not doing that and uh, I'm like in a very small percentage of people who actually did get that achievement so that makes me happy but it's funny because I wasn't even going out of my way to get that achievement it just sort of happens <laughs> I guess I was just particularly lucky anyway second act Oh yeah, and I brought this up before. So, originally this white colorization for the mission select is was used for the Alpine Skyline, but once this chapter became a thing, uh, they recolored Alpine Skyline's 
earth from white to green, and this chapter is now white instead. So, you know, fun little trivia. Ugh, ah, this, this title card is giving me some bad memories right now. <sighs> like, the timepiece is just over there. I wish I could just go into that box and snatch it. Okay. Let me decustomize my hats just to make it easier on me. There we go. Oh my god, I'm already wasting time. Ah, <laughs> there it is. Oh, the fact that I'm kind of lost already, it's not a good sign, but let's just get this over with. start. Ouch. Ow. There we go. Why must the children be involved? There we go. Uh, what's going on down there? Ah, let me go back. Ah. <sighs> uh. 
Uh, I'm already getting kind of stressed. Took care of that. Whatever that is. No! <sighs> but it's fine. It's fine. Just gotta keep moving. Repairs are important. I know, I know. Ah! Please. I don't know where I'm going now. Oh my god. Uh. Ow. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh no, I'm already... Uh, no, I can't do this. This is too much. Jesus. This is ridiculous. I already lost track. Yes. Here you go. Oh boy. Let me take care of this thing first. Just focus on the red. Seriously? Nope. 
Where am I even going? Oh my god. Okay, let me go upstairs. Oh my god. I can afford that loss. Whatever. I'm just wondering where I have to go now, though. Like... <sighs> ah, no. It's on the other side of the ship. Come on, come on. Ugh! No. I'm not lucky. Oh, he's getting mad. No! Oh my god. Please, please, please. Have mercy on me. Oh my god! Where do I go? What? No! Ugh. Damn it! Let's go down here. Oh, my God. The worst has passed. Yeah. Oh, thank you, game. Well, looks like you actually cleaned 
up more mess than you made, pup. There's more than most of the crew can manage. Help yeah. something from the lost and found. Nobody ever comes back for that stuff anyway. It looks so tiny there. Finally, we get to do the final act of this chapter, and we're basically just done with all the chapter content in this game. And next stream, we'll be doing all the time rifts. Um, yeah, that should be good. That would be fun. Anyway, uh, third act of this mission is okay, I suppose. Bum, 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 bum. Rock the boat. We're like two hours into the stream, so yeah, this should be a good enough stream to end it, end it off with. Yeah. Oh my god. Hmm, something shiny over there. Do I not look busy to you, pup? Go play somewhere. Let an old captain relax. The seals can handle things for a minute. Hopefully they've learned not to mess with the steering wheel by now. Dun, 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 dun. See if I get over there. And then everyone died. The end. Well, shoot. now. Oh yeah, and I have to collect all the ref tokens here because I'm anxious about that.
where is oh yeah this rev token is awkward like oh get me out oh wh what's going on okay cool Oh my god, come on. God. Ooh, where are we going? Oh yeah. Ah. Here's the octopus man sinking along with the ship. How tragic. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Mm. Please. There we go. One more track through this part of the ship. Oh yeah, this part right here, I I don't really understand the intent of this part because it's like, I guess like what they want you to do is to go through these hallways so you don't get like, uh, just go through all these parts of the ship. But you could just like climb on top of it like this and ignore all that. <laughs> There it is. No! Why? Seriously? Oh my god. Let me climb all the way back to the top. Oh my god. Seriously?
No. Let me see if I could get that one again. Better not fall off. Oh. Oh yeah, there's like this one glitch in this area uh, where I don't exactly know how it's triggered, but like I think what happens is that if you go to the other side of the ship and like die there, the camera would just be in this weird Dutch angle. Oh, okay. So yeah, basically it's, it's just showing me, you know, no rough tokens around here, so we're good. Oh my god. Conductor! Understandable. I'm here to save you, Cor Captain. <laughs> I 
I, am I going in circles? I hope not. Oh, I think I am going in circles. Shoot, shoot. Yeah, I know. What happens if I let the timer go down? Because I never actually see that happen. Well, I'm cutting it very close. Ooh, that's tight. Oh, oh my God, that was so close. One last rip token. Yep. Awesome. And that will be it for this stream. Woo! 38 timepieces. Not bad. Not bad at all. Awesome. So I will be ending this. I will be ending this stream right here. Uh, next time, uh, we will be finishing this game by going through all the time rifts in the entire game. And I'm planning on just complete. I'm just planning on co collecting every yarn and rift token uh, off stream, just because I don't think that's really interesting to watch. Uh, but yeah, next time uh, we'll be fully completing a hand in time. And oh, hi. Oh, hi, Lavender. <laughs> yeah, I'm ending this stream right here. I basically finish all the chapters, and next time when I stream this game, I will be doing all the time rifts, and that's basically it for this game. Uh, but yeah, I really have to check out what's going on with my OBS disconnecting. Uh, I don't know if it's just something specific to my internet, or if there's something else. I'm not entirely sure. But, yep, I'll be ending the stream right here. So... Thank you so much for anyone that dropped by and watched, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.